The Unity Candle Service has been around for several decades based on the traditions of the church and the scriptures, which tell us for this cause, the cause of marriage, a man shall leave his father and mother. A woman shall leave her home and they will be joined together no longer two, but now one flesh. I want to talk to you just a little bit about that. An illustration came to my mind when I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you. And the last pulpit assignment I had, I got a call from a lady that wanted me to come and she just lost her husband 66 years. I was out in her living room. This lady in her upbringing said, I wish I could tell you what I'm feeling right now. And then her eyes lit up and she said, you didn't happen a few years ago to read the Reader's Digest, that account of the woman up in Alaska who was married, a nurse expecting a child, married to an airman, and she had a car wreck. And I did remember the story. The lady in the story said, I never lost consciousness, I lost vision. And I waited a long time there in that snow bank, and then human hands were turning me over, and I heard a voice say, it's alive, not she's alive, or he's alive, it's alive. Later in the hospital, when they told her the baby was gone, her airman husband, she said, came and looked in her eyes and never spoke a word. He turned and walked away. She knew she'd never see him again. She said, I lay there with a sheet over my face because part of my face had been torn off. With that kind of a loss, I cannot describe the lady said the vulnerability I felt. She said, you can think about this a moment. You close your mouth, you close your eyes, you shut the world out. I'd gone through the worst pain you can imagine, and my face was open. Part of me was missing. I could not close the world out. This little lady looked at me with tears in her eyes and said, that's what I'm feeling. A part of me has been torn away. For two-thirds of a year, we complimented, two-thirds of a century, we complimented each other, and part of me is gone. I want you to find that one. Listen, I have all the confidence in the world you're going to because you do belong to Jesus Christ. You submitted to him a long time ago. And through Christ, we love like we cannot love without him. But I also want to share with you about that one. It's another aspect of it. It's the richest adventure that God ever tended to be before. My wife and I love life. And I think we've done about everything we wanted to do. We did look at our bucket list the other day. We still got to have a hot air balloon, right? <laughs> but uh, we have whitewater rafted the Colorado, rode motorcycles across the Rockies, flew our own airplane. We lived, we loved it. But the most exciting adventure this man has ever known. It's 52 years given to her. And I hope if we get that 60, I'm still discovering her. Listen, it's a fast trip. We only get one shot at every day. But in God's direction, you guys are going to know joy. I mean, unbelievable joy. Almighty God, so many times I've come to the ceremony and We've gone through these things after weeks of counseling, and I've looked in the eyes of people who know they didn't get it. Statistics tell us that most people don't get it. 65 out of every 100 go through a divorce. And from that half century of counseling people, I know that the counselors don't homes out there where 30 to 40 year marriages, people are fed up with each other, bored with each other, they never got the excitement. But through the little windows you've allowed me to appear into these two lives, they belong to you. They're sold out to you. They're going to have that adventure, and it's going to be wonderful. And we ask you to go with them. Help them so live together in patience and godliness and love. That their home will be a haven of blessing, a place of peace, and a source of inspiration to everybody who knows them and witnesses. We ask this in your name. Amen. <coughs>